Hey guys, it's Jazz, and I think I might have a problem with being a little overly excessive uh, with my nude lipsticks, but I thought that I would um, swatch these for you and do a comparison. That's something that I see online a lot is that people like to compare the different shades, and they say, do you really need a million different shades of nude and my answer is yes so we are going to dive into what these all look like and what they all look like together okay so we're gonna start with the soft matte lip creams by NYX and we're gonna start with the shade Athens I really like the soft matte by NYX but so this is kind of like a, a pinkier nude the only issue is that you have to reapply a lot with these and for someone who likes liquid lips and how long they last that can sometimes be an issue but um, if you're not if you're cool to reapply and you like that softer feel where your lips don't feel so dry then these are definitely great and they come in so many colors so the next one we're gonna do is cans like and it's by NYX as well the soft mattes I'll let you guys know when I change up what it is We'll do that right next to that one. And some of these darker colors, um, you might think, see how these swatch, you guys? They're not, sometimes they're a little patchy and you've got to go back in. So that's another thing that I don't like about these. So that was the shade Cans. And I chose a little bit of the darker shades. Everyone thinks of nudes as being like beige um, shades. And that's not nude for everyone. You know, that everyone has different skin tones. So... Um, sometimes nudes can be a little bit darker, a little more pinky, a little more peach. Um, the next shade that we're going to go into with the soft mattes is going to be Los Angeles. So let's see how that looks. This is one of my faves. It kind of looks like it has like brown tones in there and like some purple tones as well. I like messed that swatch up you guys. <laughs> but. That is what Los Angeles looks like. And now we've got Zurich, also a NYX soft matte. So we're gonna go, and I hope I said that right. As you see, these are all places. Um, so this is another one of those pinky nudes by NYX. And now we are going to go in with Cairo, another soft matte. This is going to be one that is a little bit lighter. There you go. So you can kind of see that one. Shades like that never really work on my skin tone, um, but I got this NYX Vault last year for Christmas, and they're great to mix them. They mix really well with other colors, so um, stuff like that usually... Okay, big truck <laughs> driving by. <laughs> stuff like that usually doesn't really go with my skin tone. I'm, I'm typically too tan for a bright nude like that, but it is really pretty. Um, next, we have Stockholm. So let's go ahead and swatch that right next to this one. I like that one. Yeah, this one's pretty. So that is Stockholm. And then we've got London by, it's also a NYX soft matte. And we've got one more after this and then we are done with my nude soft mattes. Oh, that is pretty. Yeah, I like that one London too. is beautiful. And that one's like a nude that I can do with my skin tone. If you're like an olive skin tone, a little more on the tan side, that's a beautiful, beautiful nude for you. That is London by NYX Soft Matte. And then the last one here is Abu Dhabi, <laughs> which is a place, Sophia. It is. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then we're going to swatch that right next to wait. London. Oh, that's another pretty one. Wait, does it mean... It, wait... The end of the word is Dobby? Yeah, like like Dobby is a free elf. Okay, so these are the next, next, the <laughs> next. These are the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams, and these are 
the um, nudiest shades that I can find um, in those. So we are going to move on to the NYX liquid suede now. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys quickly the difference between the suedes, which are these, and the soft matte lip creams, which are these. Obviously, if you buy this full size, it's going to be a little bit taller than that, um, but these are the soft mattes that are easily, easily washed off, um, and actually the suedes are not too bad either, but the suedes are more of their liquid lipstick formula, and these are a little bit softer, more creamier on the lip. Wait, so, we I'm, are going to swatch the liquid suedes now for you guys. So, this shade is Sandstorm. Sandstorm. Yeah. There was a sandstorm at the beach. <laughs> okay. So, let's get that lined up there. That's pretty. Yeah. The liquid suedes, you guys, are a steal. I mean, they're $6.99 most places, and honestly, like, they last most of the day, if not all day, and they have a nice variety of colors. So for $6.99, you get, like, great quality. So this is probably my favorite drugstore brand of lipstick. And then we have Brooklyn Thorn, which is like, I don't know how to describe this color whenever I try to tell people about it. It's like, it reminds me of cement, which makes sense that they called it Brooklyn Thorn. Um, it has like purpley undertones in it and brown ones, and I don't even know that you can really consider it a nude, yeah. although I'm going to include it here. Once it dries down, um, it's just beautiful, and on different skin tones, it tends to look more purple on some people, even have like grayish cast in there, so it's just, I don't know, it's one of my favorites. I really love that one. And then we've got the, my favorite um, NYX liquid suede color, which is the shade Soft Spoken. So I'm going to swatch that right next to Brooklyn Thorn for you guys. You know what I just realized? I actually have some NYX uh, lip lingeries that I did not pull out for this video. Were they nudes? They are nudes. I think I have one. It's okay. So this shade right here is Soft Spoken um, in the Liquid uh, Suede Formula, and that is my favorite, um, one of my favorite lipsticks. Okay, so we're gonna start with the shade Delish. Again, this is the Tardis Lip Paint. And I believe I got that in an Ipsy bag, so it's not the full size, but it's so pretty. The next one that we're going to go in with is going to be Birthday Suit. And this is the one that they give you at Sephora for free when it's your birthday. Although I don't know if they're doing that this calendar year, but for last calendar year, this is the one I got and I love it. It's really pretty. They should give you their whole store for your birthday. I wish. I would die. Okay, and then the last one by Tarte that we're gonna go in with is going to be OG. So, we unscrew that one. Okay, and then we're gonna go in right here next to shaking. this one. I, I remember buying this one. It's probably in a haul video somewhere. So let's go ahead and do the Winky Lux. That looks like this. I actually got this in, in Ipsy. Um, and it's in the shade Angel Food. So we'll go ahead and put that right next to the tart. And then we are going to go in with the Trust Fund Beauty, which looks like this. And that is in the shade Blame Game. So let's go in with that one. So now I don't, is this a lip gloss? This might be a lip gloss. Um, yeah, this is a lip gloss. But it falls into that nude family. I have to be honest with this one. I never really liked how, even though it's just a gloss, it sort of looks just like this on your lips unless you pack it like way on. So it looks very patchy, very um, transparent in area. And then I have a Maybelline lipstick um, in the shade 657 Nude Nuance. 
and we are going to swatch that for you right here. That was always one of my favorites to wear, and that was one of my first first lipsticks that I bought when I started um, kind of delving into lipstick a little bit more. It was cost effective, and it was really pretty. So um, that was one of my first ones that I got. All right, guys. So we are going to go ahead and go in with our Kylie's now. Okay, so now we're going to go in with our Kylie. Everyone knows what those look like, but this is, I think this is from her actual nude collection, um, nude lipstick collection. So we're going to go in with this one. It's called Naked. This was a pretty collection. Kylie, first of all, her lipsticks are so strong in scent. Um... I opened it and it's it like it like bad. hit me in the face. <laughs> I you know it doesn't smell bad to me, but it's not it's my cool. favorite. Cool. So now we're gonna go in with let's go in with another one from that collection. This is gonna be the shade Commando. So obviously these all had you know names that referred to nude nude shades nudity. Okay. So that is that one. This one I think was my favorite in the collection. I can't really remember. You tend to forget when you have like so many. Um, but I think this one is my favorite. And now we've got Bear. That doesn't really sound like a new name. Uh, like Bear Skin. Oh. Yeah. And then there's one more that came in this collection. And then this next one is going to be birthday suit. And Jeffrey has a birthday suit, too, wow, that we're going to swatch. You have one from Nyx, one from Kylie, and one from Jeffrey. I think the Tarte one was birthday something. Was it birthday suit? Yeah, it was. That's crazy. Well, it's an... I think it's like a known term. So these are the four from that Send Me More Nudes collection. Hope I'm, I really hope that's what it's called because... Um, and then we're going to go in with the Coco collection. collection. This was from the original collection. I know that they dropped another foursome that I did not get my hands on, which made me really sad. Um, this one is Clo Money. So we're going to go in with that one right here. One thing about Kylie's nude lipsticks, honestly, and I know that um, some people shy away from her brand, and some people shy away from her darker lipsticks because they're a little patchy and a little um, inconsistent from what I hear. Um, I've only had one by her, the, I think the Courtney or Court K, that was super kind of inconsistent and hard to wear um, because it crumbled a little bit in areas. Um, but her nudes are so good, you guys. I really feel like the nudes are always on the money. So I would definitely give her nude shades a try. So the next shade is going to be Dolce K. And this is from that original collection. It's in the original packaging um, with the black uh, like drops and stuff like that. So we're going to go in with that right next to the Clo Money. So these are all dry down matte formulas as you guys can see they're all starting to dry down you guys can see the first swatches that we did are starting to dry um, and the next ones that we have from Kylie are going to be the Kim um, the Kim collabs so these are not actually matte lipsticks they're cream so they stay um, a little more uh, wet on the on the lips and they do not dry down and they um, have to be reapplied throughout the day um, but they're very comfortable to wear and also very pretty so this one is going to be the shade Kiki which I know is her nickname but I always think of my brother when I hear the word Kiki and I miss our Kikis because he moved away so Jacob come back okay so he watches this. <laughs> I you know what he better watch it um, and then the next one is going to be the shade Kimberly. So like I said, these ones you're not going to see dry down at all. Um, these are going to stay how they look on, on the skin. And then we are going to go in with the shade Kim. Kim. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. And these, the Kim ones, let me smell this last one. So this is the shade Kimmy. Why do you want to smell it? Because I actually just noticed that they do not, so these do not have that um, Kylie like candy scent that all the mattes do. I just literally noticed that, that they don't have that same smell that the, that that the mattes do. <laughs> Sophia is not a fan of the Kylie cosmetic scent, but um, some people really like it. That is more lipstick. So Aiden joined the party. So now we are going to be swatching the lip ammos. So this is what the chrome collection looks like. And then this is what the original ones look like. Of course, it had the logo on there, but it wiped off. So we're going to swatch those for you guys right now. So we're going to start with Birkin Suede. Yeah. You gonna hand them to me, A? Yeah. Okay. And then we're gonna go yeah. in with, hold on, honey bunny, thick ass that thieves, tea? which is a little bit darker. So now we're gonna go in with birthday suit. Again. Another birthday suit, which is so pretty. And then we are going to go in with. That's another pinky skin nude. Skin tight. Yeah, that's another pinky nude. You better know your nudes. So this is skin tight right here. Is that tea? Yeah. That's like a really nice, light pink nude. And then now we are gonna go in with the Celebrity Skin Lip Ammo so you guys tea, can Mom? see what that looks like. That's pretty. Oh, that's my favorite. Celebrity Skin is my is one of my favorite shades. So that's the Celebrity Skin Lip Ammo. So now we're gonna go in with the liquid lipsticks, and this is gonna be um, Celebrity Skin, which is the liquid lipstick version of the last um, ammo that we just swatched. So that you guys can see that right next to one another. This is one of my favorite, I think this is probably my favorite nude. Okay guys, so now we're going in with Family Jewels. Okay, so Family Jewels was part of that Summer Chrome collection. This was probably my favorite shade in the Summer Chrome collection. Family Jewels kind of reminds me a little bit of Androgyny, um, which as you guys know, if you actually do watch my videos, Androgyny is another one of my go-to. It's one of my favorites. So we're gonna go ahead and swatch Androgyny right next to um, Family Jewels. Let's go in with Leo. Leo? No. No. Is this, an this is another one of your favorites, right? Yeah, Leo I really like. It's like that terracotta um, looking brown. It's like an orangey brown. It's really pretty. And now we are going to go in with Daddy, which was um, from the Manny Jeffrey collab. So you guys can see what that looks like, which I have a video for that as well back on my channel for when that dropped. He has a video for everything. I have a video for everything, you guys. Just subscribe. Come <laughs> on. Just subscribe. Okay, so this is the shade Daddy right next to... Leo. Daddy's another good one. It kind of has that same Brooklyn Thorn, like, you can't quite pinpoint the color. Like, it sort of looks purpley and brown. It's, it's just another really pretty one. So now we are going to go in with the shade Gemini. Gemini. Gemini is another one that has, like, that kind of orangey, like, terracotta feel to it. I should have put it next to the Leo. But it has more pink to it. You see how it's like more pinkish? Is that Leo? Leo, Yeah, Leo's right there. And now we're going to go in with Rose Matter, which is a pinkier nude. So we'll put it right next to that one. And 
And now we are going to go in with Hunty, which is like a camel-y nude. It's like a more of a, yeah, it kind of looks like yellowy toned in some of the pictures I take of it. So it's, it's got like some weird tones in there, but this is from the Summer Chrome Collection. So it's the ones that have that chrome um, design. Oh, hi Aiden, how are you? So we're gonna place that right next to Rose Matter. Not that, Mom. Those are lipsticks. Do you love lipstick? Is that a no? Okay. <laughs> oh, I thought so. I thought so. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with, um, next to that we're gonna go in with Mannequin. Mannequin's another good one. It's a little light. It's on the lighter side, so sometimes I mix it or I'll put a, like a lip liner, a little bit darker lip liner. Um, but we're going to place yeah. that right next to this one. It's on the light side instead of the dark side. It's a little light for me, but on you it's actually really pretty because you're a little bit lighter than me. So that, it looks a little bit darker. So if you have fair skin, it'll be a perfect nude for you. But if you're darker complected or olive tone, it might be a little light um, for you. So now we're going to go in with Butt Naked, which is the last um, color that we're going to swatch. And it's from the Summer Chrome Collection as well. Oh, hi, motorcycle driving by. We're just saying hi to everybody today. Yeah, everyone that's like interrupting here. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> Hi, YouTube. All right, so that is the last one, and that is probably one of the um, paler shades um, that, that he made. And so I cannot wear that unless I mix it or put a lip liner with it. It just doesn't go with my skin tone, really. It looks great on you, though, Sophia. Yeah. All right, you guys, so that concludes another swatch comparison video. Some of these are really pink yeah. on Sophia's skin tone, um, more pink than they are on me, but that yeah, is like it. it. So thank you guys so much for watching, and yeah, we will catch you guys in our next video. Bye, YouTube. Bye, guys. What's that? Uh, What's that? Lipstick. Lipstick? Uh, oh, my goodness. What's that? Did you, did you make a mess on More the lipstick? What else? What else you got over there? Oh, yeah. Say bye-bye, YouTube. Bye. Say see you in our next video. Say see you with the lipstick. Say like and subscribe.